shouldn't obviously feel anything uncomfortable. Okay. I've accidentally had my hair cut short, very short before in the past. You know, when you've gone to a hairdresser and asked for a, sh a short haircut and they've literally taken it all off. And I hated the way I looked. I hated the way, the shape of my head and the shape of my face. I hated that not having hair. Then when it grows back again, it grows a bit longer, it suits me a lot better. That was the part that I was worried about. That was the part that I thought, well, once it goes, it's gone. What's so important is that the, the procedure and the differences between a strip procedure and an FUE procedure is really just how we harvest the graft. After we have the grafts, the way we place them is all the same. But if you don't have the good raw materials, and that's the problem, when we do it by hand, we don't get really good robust grafts. With the robot, we're able to get excellent grafts, therefore the natural results are what the patient gets, and that's what the patient wants. we're able to harvest successfully without damaging the grafts, probably at, at an increased rate of over 50% compared to the hand method. Um, the speed of the robot is, is very consistent as well. We're able to harvest on average about 500 grafts per hour. In the past, by hand, the, the surgeon would not be able to do that for a long period of time and not become fatigued and then not be able to focus on the recipient site creation and the, and the grafting and the transfer. This enables us to accomplish in a day very large numbers of grafts back on order of what you would be able to do with the strip surgery, but you're able to do it without a linear scar. It's very important that we do continue to move towards regulating our cosmetic industry and the hair transplant industry. But this is a procedure that is entirely carried out and, and controlled by the doctor. Of course he has a team and that's crucial to the procedure to have a trusted and very skilled team to assist the doctor. But it's the doctor that is, that is running the robot. It's the doctor that is planning the surgery, that's making sure the surgery is appropriate to the patient, to the patient's age and expectations. And most importantly, it's the doctor that's actually doing the transplant procedure, the, the design of the hairline, directing the hair so that it's the most natural, age appropriate um, and dense looking result that the patient can have.